three things that hurt the narcissist the most. There are a lot of things that hurt the narcissist. Narcissists are very sensitive people. They're always scanning the environment for threats. They're looking for something to be wrong. So that they have an excuse to act out. So that they can feel like they're not the ones who are at fault. When deep down that's what they believe. Which is why it doesn't take much to trigger their envy and jealousy. But even then. It only causes minor narcissistic injuries. It's usually not enough to tip them over the edge. But there are three things that hurt the narcissist the most. Three things that can trigger their narcissistic rage. One. When you confront the narcissist. When you question or confront the narcissist. They feel like they're losing control. And a narcissist without control can be very dangerous. Because then there's nothing they won't do. To regain their control over you. To feel like they have power and authority. Because when you confront them. It demonstrates to them that they don't really have any power at all. And that is one truth they don't want to accept. When you confront them, it's like it's time for them to face reality. Reality is one thing they don't want to deal with. Which is why they're constantly engaged in escapism. They're always trying to escape reality. And it's always through some form of addiction. Whether it's tobacco, drugs, alcohol... Sex, gambling, shopping or video games. The narcissist always has to have something to help them to cope with reality. Because it's just too much for them to bear. Truth and reality overwhelms the narcissist. Which is why they're pathological liars. They're always trying to hide the truth. They're always trying to dodge accountability for their actions. Because it's just something they don't want to deal with. And the amount of effort they go through. In an attempt to conceal the truth. Should reveal to you just how important their image and reputation is to them. And just how much they want to avoid the consequences for their actions. Which is why when you try to question or confront the narcissist. It will cause a narcissistic injury. It will hurt them. And they will want to take revenge on you. Two, when you expose the narcissist, the narcissist doesn't mind letting their mask slip when they're around you. They don't mind exposing you to their dysfunctional nature and putting you at risk of danger or harm. To them, that's perfectly okay. 
and they always have a reason or excuse for doing that. They always have someone else to blame. But if you dare to tell people about how they really are, it will make the narcissist very angry because they want to maintain a code of silence. They want to keep everything behind closed doors when no one else will have any knowledge or awareness of what is really going on. Because that's how they're able to control everyone's perception of them. Which is why it hurts them when you try to expose them. Because it only threatens the control they have over you. But it also threatens the influence they have on other people. Which means that it not only puts them at a risk of losing you as their source of supply. But also their other sources. It's like life or death to a narcissist. They will feel like they're in a fight for their lives. And they will do anything to stop you. They will do anything to portray you as the abuser. Whatever they did to you, they will say that you did that to them. They will project it onto you because they already know that what they did was wrong. They just don't want to reflect on it. So they project everything they hate about themselves onto you. And then they try to get everyone else to see you in the same way. So that they can protect their false image. In their minds they're just defending themselves. Because they see you trying to expose them as an attack on their reputation. Three, when you reject the narcissist. There's nothing that hurts a narcissist more than rejection. This is the number one thing a narcissist cannot stand. And people may think that being exposed would be worse for the narcissist. But that is actually a form of rejection as well. Because it would result in people rejecting the narcissist's false self. Almost everything a narcissist does is designed to avoid rejection. Because it is one thing they cannot deal with. It hurts them more than anything else. They hate the idea of not being wanted or of not being good enough for someone or something. Which is why they're so arrogant. Which is why they're grandiose. Because it's a coping mechanism for how they really feel about themselves. Deep down they feel like they're not good enough for anything. But the truth is too painful for them to accept. So instead they use people to prop up their false self. They act as though they're better than everyone. Because if anyone is better than them at anything, it makes them feel inadequate. Narcissists have a black and white mentality 
where people are either all good or all bad. They're either perfect or flawed. And narcissists do everything they can to avoid being seen as bad or flawed. Because then they feel like they would be at risk of being rejected. So they engage in all of these underhanded tactics to maintain their false image. To them it doesn't matter if they cheated, lied or stealed. Authenticity is one thing narcissists do not care about. As long as they can feel like they're better than most people. And they belong somewhere. They will abandon any and every authentic part of themselves. So while they may be deeply afraid of the pain that comes along with rejection. You can be sure that the narcissist will never be loyal to you. Because they couldn't even be loyal to themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonate with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.